welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know. Now you know and we leave for Hawaii in literally less than two days like one and a half nights basically because our flight leaves so early in the morning and I don't have a single thing packed. So I want to do a video where I like pack and prep for Hawaii. I take you through every single step. I show you like what outfits I'm bringing, how I'm packing, the whole nine yards. I love watching these videos. And as much as I'm an overpacker and I'm not the greatest at like picking out stuff to pack, I feel like I've got packing down to a science. I am so organized with it. So I'm gonna show you basically everything that I have to go through. So we made a to-do list, a little checklist of everything that I could currently think of that I need to do. And of course the first step is to just pack. And then everything else going down the list we'll do between today and tomorrow. And I'm gonna take you through all of it. So first step, gotta go get the suitcase. I have, we're flying United, so we have a checked bag and technically we can bring a carry-on and a personal item. I'm gonna try to only bring a checked bag and a backpack, but at least we know that if we need some more, I can bring a carry-on too, so let's go get the suitcase. She's pretty beefy, so she can fit a lot and luckily I feel like almost everything I'm gonna bring is like pretty compact. It's like bathing suits or little cover-ups, the dresses, two-piece sets, like things that don't take up a lot of room. I plan on the only like sweats I'm bringing, I think I'm gonna wear on the plane so that way they don't even have to fit in here. So I think the first place that we're gonna start is bathing suits because that's just like a no-brainer. We're there for seven days which means I'd need at least like 20 bathing suits. I think that seems fair and it may seem like a lot but I feel like I'll probably wear almost all of them. I have all of these ones set out already and they're from Revolve so I'll just go through them quickly, but they're all on my Revolve favorites. So there's this cute flower one. I've been saving these for Hawaii for like months because so many of them just scream like Hawaii and the scenery. I love this little white one with beads. This one is, it's okay. It looks so cute on the model, but it is so hard to put on right, but I'm hoping it comes through. So there's this one and then there's just a nice little purple one that has these cute little beads. I don't know if it's like boring to show you everything I'm packing or if I should be literally showing everything so I don't know let me know down below for the next time I do one of these videos if you want to see everything I'm packing or just like an overview of everything but this white one I originally was packing this one because we were going to try to island hop while we were there and we wanted to go to the big island and go to the black sand beach and I feel like a white bathing suit on the black sand beach was going to like look absolutely beautiful but we're not island hopping anymore so I'll still probably wear that one at some point but the original plans are not gonna happen. This one I'm obsessed with. It gives me like tankini vibes kind of, like it goes pretty low, but it is strapless, again, just from Revolve. But the flowers, I feel like just scream Hawaii, which is why I have so many. And then I just have a like teal velvet one I haven't worn yet, add some color into it. This one I also love. It is a bandeau top. It's like the same, Material and look is the white one, but obviously in more of like an orangey red kind of color with the matching bottoms. And then the last one I have from Revolve that's like a new one I've been saving is this flower one. Again, just I feel like all these colors like orange, pink, yellow are like the color scheme of basically almost everything I'm packing. So the matching bottoms. Then I got this one I bought from Kulani Kinis that I'm also obviously going to bring. I feel like this is literally I think it's part of the. Yeah, it's the Hannah Malos, like Under the Sun collection. So I feel like these were just made for Hawaii. So bringing that one, which I really like. And now let's count how many these are. I don't even know how many I have so far. 10. All right, we're like halfway there. So let's find about 10 more. I kind of want to bring, I brought this one piece to Italy, but that was quite a few years ago. And I really liked how it looked. And I feel like if we go like cliff jumping or anything, I'm not going to want to wear a bikini, even like surfing possibly. So I think I'm going to bring this one piece. I really want to bring a bright orange one I think this one from white fox going to bring that one the one piece is from I think misguided yes it's from misguided I like I said it's a few years old so I don't know if you can find it but I am now stumped I haven't really thought about anything else or what I want to bring my biggest tip when it comes to packing for travel is using packing cubes it just keeps everything so organized it's just like I feel like you can fit more in your suitcase and just when you get to somewhere and you unzip your suitcase and everything is in one spot and you don't have to like dig through it and mess it all up makes everything just so much better so I have this set from Amazon which just comes with like a ton of different sizes 
and everything and then i also just love these ones from triangle as well for like little things i like these more for sunglasses and accessories because i feel like it's a little bit more protective it's like a better material and then these ones for bathing suits clothes all of that so i have a feeling bathing suits might be like i might have to use the biggest one for bathing suits maybe not maybe we can fit it in the second this was probably good we're gonna try to fit it into this one got them all to fit in this one and it can like obviously they're super easy to kind of squish together so there's definitely some extra room so i can fit stuff on top of that next to that squeeze it all together i don't know where to move from next i think technically hmm i think we'll do shoes because i know it's going to take a big chunk of not like a big chunk of my suitcase but i know obviously that's going to be harder to fit last second so i'm not bringing much i'm trying to bring as little as possible actually so we have the new hiking shoes that i got in the last vlog i think so bringing those i plan on bringing these i think is my only sandals they're so comfortable and i feel like do they go with everything i think we might try to make them go with everything and then these are from revolve i plan on making these the only dressy shoes i bring so every single outfit will hopefully go with these because that's the only option then I'm bringing my water shoes. These are from Amazon. I always get so many questions about these. These were probably like a 20 out of 10 purchase. I wear them so much. And that way, you know, when you're in the ocean, you're like, I don't want to step on things. I don't know what is down there. This is the way to go because you don't feel anything you step on. So then it's not scary and they look kind of like cool. I feel like water shoes are normally like, they're not the coolest looking things, but these, they're on my Amazon storefront. Everything that I say is from Amazon is just going to be linked about below along with all my Revolve favorites and everything just so you can shop the things that I say. And then I think the only dressy sneaker I'm gonna bring, which we're going to Hawaii for seven days and then LA for three, so I need to bring some outfits for that as well. I think these are gonna be the only dressy sneaker I bring and I'm probably gonna wear these through the airport so that way I don't have to worry about packing them because they would take up lots of room. Next on the list is actual outfits. Now, in my last video, I started planning out outfits. I have like all my nicest like dinner or like specific outfits for events but i definitely do not have enough like i just need everyday like jean shorts tank kind of outfits and just like leisure outfits but i think i have the dressy outfits down and they're all right here so we need to organize this and figure out exactly what we want to bring i think i have it narrowed down to almost like the exact outfits but the only thing i don't know is i want to bring these pants because they're super fun and i really like them I don't have a shirt picked out for it yet. I I just don't want to wear, I, I know what shirt I'm going to end up wearing and I just don't want to wear that shirt because I feel like it's always my go-to and it's just my white like wrap top but I just feel like it looks so good with outfits like this. Like it just makes it, I don't know. It's one of those that you can either wear it like this, you can wear it as a tube top, a whole bunch of different ways and I feel like that's just, what I'm gonna bring, even though I wish I had a different shirt for it. I have this one that I tried it on. This was in my like last Revolve haul and I have the blue wraparound one that is so close to being the same shade. I just don't know if I can get away with it. We have um, cover-ups, overalls, which I think will hopefully be cute over like a bathing suit and it's the perfect cover-up. And then the button-down shirts. These are just more of like, really dude? <laughs> Come on. These are, this is specifically for the botanical gardens, but these are also just like super flowy, cute summer dresses. Then we get into more of like the fancy dinner outfits. So I have this two piece set, that two piece set, this two piece set, dress, pants and top, long dress, pants and top. And I think those are like mainly, I see now I feel like I don't have that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess that's a dinner outfit every night right there. I guess I don't need to pack more. Then these are my three main LA outfits, which I still feel like, I think I'm gonna pack strictly for Hawaii first and then figure out LA at the end. And then I just have a pile of a whole bunch of like cute little tops, jean shorts, other shorts, like cover up shorts. So I think we're pretty much covered on just like normal clothes, like dinner outfits, wear around outfits, cover ups. I think we've pretty much covered all that. We're gonna finish it. Okay, so next thing is like workout outfits. I have this cute pink set from Gymshark. I don't know how many hikes we're going on. And I also know that like we're doing the Jurassic 
world ATV tour thing, and I know that you get muddy on that, so I'm bringing this black workout set just to wear for that, because I figured it's like probably gonna be hot. We're going like midday, and that way if it gets muddy, it's black, so it's fine. How cute are these little skirt outfits? They're from like the Gilly Hicks section of Halster, and it's like a workout skirt and a little halter top. So I have the set in white, and then I also have it in this really pretty like muted blue color, which I think these skirts are the cutest little things. And they have like built-in workout shorts, so best of both worlds. And then the last one is the set active set that I bought, and I do really, really, really like it. And I think it's like the perfect color. I wanted stuff that was gonna match the like aesthetics of the nature and everything there, so I think that does. A pretty good job so I have all of those the only issue is I'm out of packing cubes but look at how organized I wish I had more because this makes life so easy so these are all bathing suits cover-ups and just like casual dresses and outfits these are all my nicer outfits and then these are all shorts and little tops and then over here I just have all my shoes for right now so the other thing left that I really need to go through and pack is all the workout outfits that I just showed I need just a few more like leisure outfits and then LA clothes and then like pajamas. I don't know. I made a very like rough draft packing list and I need to go through and make sure I checked everything off. This is my airport outfit, which I got this sweat set from White Fox. So this pants just say White Fox. I made sure that they obviously have pockets. So those and then the hoodie is real the real reason why I got it. I wanted to get a new sweat set because I wanted a cute hoodie that could double as like if I needed to wear a hoodie anytime on the trip. Front just says the same and then the back says great things are coming in rainbow. I think we're pretty good on clothes. Next up I think now that I know bathing suits and clothes that I'm packing is going to be accessories because I'm hoping I don't need all of these clocklets. So I need to figure out exactly what colors I want to bring. I probably should have done this before I packed everything away because now like, I mean, I have an idea of what I brought, but this is so much easier to plan out when I have it all sitting in front of me. And I also want to spice up my phone cases, which this video is sponsored by Caseify. And I don't just have phone cases. I think I kind of want to, this is an iPad case and this is a MacBook case that fits my laptop that I haven't put it on yet. I think because I'm traveling and I'm going to be using everything, I kind of want to put that and then bring the matching phone case as well so that everything just like looks so cute in the airport. Caseify's latest protection technology is called EcoShock, which is embedded in their iPhone 14 cases. So their impact series are now over 20% protective and they still are able to make it such a slim, sleek look. Caseify cases are five times the military standard, meaning that it's been drop tested 130 times to make sure that the EcoShock doesn't wear off. So not only does Caseify have seriously like some of the cutest cases ever and you can pick from an endless amount of pages so there's a case out there for everyone but they're also super protective. But if you're like me and you just throw your phone cases around, you never have to worry because Caseify has you protected and your phone is good as new. Their cases for the previous iPhone models were actually drop tested up to 9.8 feet but with their new EcoShock cases, they're actually drop tested and protected up to 11.5 feet. And their iPhone 14 cases are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And they're also partially upcycled from their Recaseify program, which gives a new life to post-consumer waste. I think of my Caseify cases as more than just a phone case. I literally think of them as an accessory, and that's why I'm packing a few extras just to go with some outfits. They just look so sleek when you pair it with an outfit that matches. So whether you're getting the new iPhone model or not, make sure to check out Caseify down below. And go to caseify.com slash Gabby Fuller to get 15% off your order today. And I definitely recommend if you're getting a new phone, order the new case now so you have it before your phone even gets here so you can feel so safe and don't have to worry about dropping it. Now time to figure out the other accessories. Like I have seven trillion sunglasses and if you watched my last video you know that I got even more so which ones are coming with me that is what we need to figure out now I don't know what I'm doing I'm going crazy this is like I've reached the limit in packing where like my brain is just mush at this point I'm like I, I don't know anymore I think we narrowed it down to probably still too many sunglasses. All of these are from Amazon. These are from Nordstrom. I think literally the rest. These are Princess Polly, I believe. Rest are Amazon. All claw clips are Amazon. This one is Revolve. And then these cute little ones I got from MEJ, which is like small business. Ordered them myself, but they're so little and they're just like 
the perfect little Hawaiian flowers. And what I'm envisioning is like, hair is like beachy. I do like two braids here and put those on the end. So cute. So hopefully I don't forget that I have those. But like I said, I love to put accessories in these like tri triangle neoprene bags. I feel like they're just more protected. We may have done it. So I got all Hawaii stuff, accessories. I guess these hats are just gonna like lay there this is pajamas like sleep clothes shoes i guess i can also put honestly probably that there hiking clothes t-shirts biker shorts other shorts la stuff i hope that's enough seems like it's gonna fit obviously need socks and underwear but i think for clothing wise i think we're good to go i really don't know if I have enough for LA, but I also don't know what we're doing or if we're doing anything. And worse comes worse, I can repeat outfits. I have plenty of outfits that I'm sure I won't get to wear in Hawaii. So I think we're good there. I think we did it. And that just closed with the extender closed, which I'm gonna give it a little bit extra breathing room and open that up. But that's everything, I believe. That needs to go in the suitcase. Now let's see if we can lift it. We got a 50 pound weight limit, so like, I think we should be good, right? Yeah, it's gonna be close, but like, I think we did it. Let's see, let's check the checklist. We can, oh my God, we can't check things off. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to check the first one off, but it says pack suitcase and backpack, which I did not do. I think I'm just gonna bring this. It's just a Herschel backpack. I don't plan. Why is it so dirty? Oh my god. It's like really gross. I don't plan on bringing too much in here. It should just be. I think I'm bringing both cameras. So it'd be my laptop, my iPad, both cameras, jewelry, deodorant, hairbrush. I think that's it, but gosh, the laptop, iPad, and two cameras is going to be so heavy. Look at this mega tripod I got off Amazon. So nice, definitely bringing that. That's probably the only tripod we need to bring because for like hikes and everything, I want pictures taken from like an above angle and I don't know if we'll have anyone that we can rely on to take pictures. So bring that, I guess in, in my backpack too. I don't wanna make this backpack so heavy. I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight because like I said, like this stuff has to charge. I'm gonna use it. So I won't be able to pack all of this until tomorrow. So I'm going to get my nails done in the morning and then we'll finish all the other last minute stuff tomorrow. tomorrow. That's the only option. I mean, it's literally like 3 a.m. the next morning. Good morning. It is the next day. It is the last day to get everything done. We are up early. I still feel like I sound like I'm asleep, so I apologize for that, but we try to get to the nail salon as soon as they open because kind of on a time crunch today because my mom flies in to, she's watching Cloud for the next week. So we have to pick her up from the airport at like 12. So I wanted to come with plenty of time to get my nails done. This is the inspo. I had to fully edit it on my phone because I wanted different colors. So I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like orange is one of those colors where when it's done right, it is absolutely beautiful. But like when it's done wrong, it just looks like Halloween all the time. So hoping that it works out, hoping that it doesn't take very long, but we're saying goodbye to the pink chrome nails. I really, really enjoyed them. If you want to get chrome, definitely recommend doing it with the pink. It was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping because I got here, they literally opened two minutes ago, one minute ago. I'm hoping that I can get a really good nail tech that can just make this happen fast and it comes out exactly how I want. So here's the before. Let's go get these babies Hawaii ready. And the after. I love them. They are so, so fun. The colors I feel like turned out perfect and I didn't even realize, but it literally matches my phone case like exactly. So a full aesthetic we got going on she did she did really good and they honestly didn't take that long it's 1107 right now i probably walked in sat down at had to have been close to 1007 so a solid hour which means we have some extra time and you know what that means i want a pumpkin spice latte because i haven't had one yet made it back home my mom's at the pool right now trying to get some sun so while she's there gonna check off the next things off the list i have all my technology i have my camera batteries charging my laptop, my iPad's charging, portable charger is charged. I need to pack all that up, but I'm gonna probably let them charge 
all day probably not pack those until tonight next thing that i really need to do is i need to load more film in my film camera i can officially say now this camera's like 20 dollars off amazon so it's like like it's pretty cheap but my pictures turn out so good i was shocked that nothing was going to work out this well so i have one last roll of film that i plan on filling up completely while we're in hawaii so i need to load this in i always not that I necessarily forget how to do it, but I always get really stressed out because it's like, if I load the film wrong, that, that could be it. And I'd have no idea. Like I could waste an entire roll of film and that stresses me out. So I always look up like the tutorial while I load it in just to double check that I'm doing it. I think we got it. There was a step that kind of gave me troubles, which stresses me out because I have no idea. Like if it's not loaded right, then this whole film roll just goes to waste. I think we're good. I don't want to like waste a picture right now because it would be of nothing. So I'll probably take the first one like in the airport or something and then we'll know. But okay, what else needs done? I need to, oh, I also downloaded some movies. I just went on Netflix and whatever was there. I downloaded, he's just not that into you, a Cinderella story, monster in law and the notebook. Four very cheesy girly chick flicks. Wouldn't want it any other way. Although I looked at, the United app in the new Doctor Strange movie is on like the airplane and normally the airplanes have like pretty good shows and movies so I'm not too worried about it and we also leave super early so I'm sure I'm gonna be so tired the thing I'm most worried about is I don't think it shows that we get a meal on this flight so the second flight that's eight hours we go from like 9 a.m. and it's so hard because of the time jump but we go from 9 a.m. Houston time to 1 30 p.m. Hawaii time and it's an eight hour flight so like we're on there for a long time and I think all it shows is snacks so in our hour and a half layover we'll probably like try to get a whole meal and like stock up on snacks because eight hours is a long time and I'm definitely going to get hungry so hopefully like within our gate and there's just enough and hopefully everything is on time and there's no delays and we have time to get snacks because I mean there's stuff that you can purchase on the plane but like when I went to Italy I had a full-blown meal and it was nice it was like pasta it was pesto pasta I'm pretty sure and it was pretty good so hopefully there's more than just like pretzels and stuff it is much later it is crunch time now it's I'm vlogging the camera the camera it's 11:20. We're leaving for the airport at 4.30 a.m. I clearly just showered, washed my hair, shaved my legs, did my eyebrows. Everything is done. We're ready to go. The last thing that needs to be done is I just need to pack my backpack. I'm going to try to get a few hours of sleep and then that's it. <laughs> Which is crazy. I cannot believe we leave for Hawaii. We planned this trip like a decent amount of time ago. And it's just crazy. Hawaii has always been like one of the top places that I want to go. Crazy to me that's happening. This is your sign to just book the flight. You'll figure the rest out later, but the more you just sit on a trip and you think about it over and over and over, time's gonna pass and you're not gonna book it. Just book it. Especially when the, we found these flights for like decently cheap one day and we were like, we were like flexible with our dates and we were just like, we're just gone. We're gonna make it work. It would be to work. So. I need to, one, brush my hair. Oh, that's the only thing. I, I, like, really did not want to wash my hair tonight. But I knew, I like, anytime I go on a trip, I always wash it right before I leave. So I can try to wash it as least as possible while I'm there. But I hate going to bed with wet hair. So I'm going to have to completely, like, blow dry this tonight before I lay down. Which, I don't even know. I'm not going to get much sleep. I'm just going to take a little mini nap. Here we go. Last thing to check off on the list. All right. Have my iPad, my laptop all going in the very back pocket and I'm gonna put all my chargers I have like all my tech stuff my external hard drive chargers all of that is just going back in this pocket so it's not a mess I have to my laptop doesn't have memory I'm hoping I don't have to work but just in case I do this has my entire job on it so need to bring that just in case then camera number one I also have my jewelry already in here. This is my toothbrush, razor, birth control, that kind of stuff. That needs to go in here. Makeup wipes, I don't. I'm gonna squeeze these in my suitcase. I don't wanna bring that in here. 
nail polish because my toes are already ruined, guys. I think I'm yelling. Everyone check this way. I need to be quieter. Um, camera battery charger number one. Camera battery charger number two. This is the only thing. I feel like my suitcase is always so organized. I have not gotten packing my backpack down to a science yet. I feel like I need like one more bag of all of this stuff. But I don't have that yet, so deodorant. This little charger, I guess, will go in there too. Film camera, which I need to make sure that I take this out before going through security because supposedly it ruins the film. I don't want to risk it. I guess these are just going to go in here. I have my normal hairbrush and then like one for slick back hairstyles. And last thing is portable charger. I feel like I could have done this better. But it's fine. And then I also have like face masks, scrunchies, hand sanitizer, stuff that just stays in this bag at all times. But I think that is officially everything all packed up. I need to put my charger in here after I'm done charging my phone, but guys, we're going to Hawaii. No, we're literally going to Hawaii. Like, literally so soon. So, I'm going to end this video, blow dry my hair, try to get a little bit of rest, and the next video will be in Hawaii. So, make sure to check out Caseify again. Of course, everything is linked down below. Make sure to give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm